Okay, in the next video, we're going to talk about dent. We're going to also talk about fridge. Remember, he's in here. We're going to talk about McMichael and this epic battle. This epic battle. This is the ultimate revenge. This was a brawl. This was bigger than the Rocky meet, uh, uh, rematch. Okay, and then what was going on here with Dan Hampton? Okay, the five families. There's five families in the NFL. These are the all pro ball players that go to the Pro Bowl. Okay, there's literally five families, people that make the decisions on how some things are going to get handled during the game. I'm going to talk about that later in the next video. But everyone was playing with tremendous intensity. But there was another reason why there was some intensity that was created by the no-nonsense approach of the Chicago Bears and the thumb they had on the players' throats. They literally sat there and could have crushed them, and the ball players knew not only did they have to play great, they were expected to play great, and they had this other issue that no one really understood the kind of pressure it was putting on them. This was called the Al Harris. Watch this in the Todd Bell issue. What happened with those two was so crushing, it killed Todd Bell. They were going to negotiate a contract at the beginning of the season. Todd Bell was an all pro. He's making 77 grand. He won a 950 grand. He deserved it. Okay? They looked him right in the eye and says, We're not going to pay you. As a matter of fact, we're not going to pay you. I'm going to run this defense without you. They told Al Harris it was coming off some great years. I said, We aren't going to pay you, and you can hold out as long as you want. And, and I don't care what kind of situation they're in. And those two held out the entire season long. The Bears were firm, says we aren't going to pay you another dime. And they went to the Super Bowl, won the Super Bowl without them. And these ball players got destroyed. They were the sacrificial lambs. They were the blood on the bride's dress. And that hammer was over every ball player's head. And they knew no matter what, at any moment, they could be in that box. A big influence on the intensity and the way these ball players play. And how they were being able to be kept together economically. And a knife to their throat. That's part of the business of football. In a minute, I'm going to get back to you and I'm going to go into more of the stuff that made this team great. We'll clean up this board, give you something new, fresh to look at.